my message. I want to know about that invisible army you got helping you build that place, which is really cute. And I'll tell you right now, it's not an invisible army. I got a really screwed up. Ah, oh, mother. Ah. I got a really screwed up friend here that helps me. I want to show you how I put this guy to work. Uh, let me put on a shirt and I'm going to flip the camera around and show you something pretty neat. For all of you do-it-yourselfers, you're going to like this. Now, what I've done is I've taken these two little guys there and I've screwed them into the post. I'm going to take my post, set my level on top of it. I got screws in my mouth so I can't talk. Screw gun right here in my pocket. All right, here we go. I'm gonna lift it up and put the post right there on top of those screws. Set my level right there. Now, I'm gonna find my post is level, which is right there. Here we go. And now, ta-da! So what I've done is, I got at least one screw in to hold it on this end. I'm level, and now I can put my screws over on this side to hold it. There you go. Here's a dad joke for you. There ain't no helper as screwed up as my help. Or I got the most screwed up helper of all. So we're gonna have the same problem here in the corner. If we come by and we put this board here to be the pretty side, then when we do this line over here, how are we gonna connect this one? Because you can't connect it if this board's already here. The sun has come out. It's been overcast all day. I'm actually okay with the way this over here come out. I'm gonna still cut the top of those posts off, but uh, what's gonna be the problem is over here at the gate. Once again, I'm gonna have to have the gate hung. You can't hang the gate straight or level because the fence is not run level. I'm wearing my new shirt. Let me show y'all something. I'm excited about this. So remember how I talked to y'all about the gates and how dumb they were gonna look before? So what we did was something that Jamie suggested. Surprises you how much a city girl can figure out just from doing her thing here in the country. Let me flip my camera around and show you what we've I done. I know for a fact that once we get the um, stain put on the two by fours and the one by six that I ran through there, it'll look a whole lot better. But it's not so much the beauty or the lack of beauty of the gates, but it's the functionality. Let me show you something really, really special. All right, so let's just pretend that, oh no, <gasps> Gracie is coming into heat. That's not good. There's no way I can leave Gracie in this pasture with her dad because you don't want to have that whole father-daughter thing. That's You don't want to have those bloodlines jacked up. So what I'm going to do is take Gracie out of this pasture and move her over here. Well, how would someone do that? You can't walk up and say, hey, Gracie, come over here. No. So what you do is you'll call all of the cows over. Oh, it's going to be so exciting. You'll open the gate here. You'll open the gate up over here. Drop that down. You'll come over here. Open this gate up. And uh, just bear with me, folks. I'm doing this with one hand. Uh-oh. How did that lock? There you go. So you open this up. And now your cows can't run down to the road. <laughs> they can't run into the road, but you can simply call them right over. Come on, you guys. They come into here. And what you do is put a couple of snacks around, whatever you wanted to do. Let them graze around a little bit. No big deal. They ain't going to go anywhere. They were completely fenced in. Later, when it's time for feed up, guess what you do? You come over here to this gate and you do this. You call them back with feed, right? You call them back with feed, but you stand here. As Tex walks by, Santana walks by, Pearl and Santoro, all of a sudden you get in front of Gracie and you say, no baby, you gotta stay right here. You come over here and you close this gate. And now Gracie, oh, poor Gracie, she's completely stuck inside of her own little pasture. 
all the other bigs are back out here where they belong. Now, if you're saying, Lester, there's not enough grass over there for any cow or even a calf to live on. Guys, this is only one small stretch of this pasture. It goes down the front along the road. It comes all the way back up the other side. And you have all of that over there, um, up there by the big barn. And plus, I feed a lot. I feed my animals more than they probably need. And so ultimately, that's not too small of a pasture for a calf to hang out while she completes her cycle. And that will be what I'm gonna call my secondary pasture. Now, of course, goats will be living over there, and so will the ostriches, but that's completely okay. Now, the only thing that's kind of embarrassing, which is nothing I could control, because I'm not God, but it was a little bit of embarrassing when I opened both of these up, which I don't know if you noticed, but I, I did not show you on purpose, but I'm going to now because I just can't keep anything from y'all. I'm like an open book. What's kind of embarrassing is look how much lower that gate hangs than this gate. And that's not anyone's fault. It's actually because this side of the driveway is lower than this side. So you have to accommodate for that, and sometimes you just can't hide things. But no one besides you and me will ever know this, so don't go off telling everybody. Anyway, I got the parts, the supplies that I needed from Home Depot. Jamie gave me the greatest of ideas. I used her ideas, and that right there, my friends, came out really nice. I'm sure y'all noticed already. So I'm sure that many of y'all have... I'm sure most of y'all have noted the obvious in the fact that I did not use a skill saw on this job. I used a chainsaw, but that's because I'm luster. And I'm just more of a grinding teeth type of guy. Yeah, and so I, uh, I make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> but you know what? Once we put some stain on that, Who's really ever going to know? Seriously. Who's ever going to notice? Now I'm going to go up and show you what else I've done with a chainsaw. You're going to like this. I would like to show y'all uh, what has happened here at Longhorn Lusters today. <laughs> Sometimes you forget your shadow showing the real parts of you that you're trying to hide from everybody else. Oh, that looks horrible, Lester. Okay. So, it's been a really busy day, but looky here. What I'm doing now is come by and I'm cutting the tops off of these posts. I'm gonna turn my camera around and show you something pretty cool. So a lot of folks would think that when you have a top on a post like that and has to be cut, the best thing to do is grab your chainsaw. And so I'm gonna tell you real fast that, that chainsaw weighs about 30, 35 pounds and you have to hold it at an angle that is very uncomfortable. However, I have this little pole saw that works off of a battery and I'm gonna, well, I, I could demonstrate to you how much faster and easier this thing over here works than that right over there. You wouldn't think so, but uh, I have used this a number of times the cut is as clean as a skill saw now i mean i'm I, it's not perfect guys it still has grindy teeth but i'll tell you what it's a lot easier to use as far as a on a big job because it doesn't put as much weight on your shoulders and it doesn't take as much out of you as that right there does all right here goes nothing Did y'all see that? Oh, Lord. Uh. Did y'all see that? See, there went nothing. It's that easy. And it makes almost no noise. None of your neighbors are being disturbed. None of your animals are scared. And uh, it actually puts a lot less strain on the old shoulders. So, all right, so I never said it was easy but it's easier. 
and there's nothing wrong with you know doing things an easier way you accomplish the same goal and so there may be some tough guys there who want to just chainsaw everything but uh, hey go ahead tough guys chainsaw away and i'll see you tomorrow while you're laid up on your ass feeling the the pain or at the age of 50 ah oh, bad back you know i can't really talk though i have bad knees okay well let's just skip that part all right so here's what the uh unpainted or the unstained fence looks like here in what's going to be kind of a corral part of our yard i wanted to have enough room to be able to turn trailers and back things up into the barn i also want you to remember that i want to have that barn door the garage door open so i can bring my tractor my lawnmower out into the yard here without having to go through any uh, gates or fences all right now we also want to make sure we notice the drive this is the service drive we did not make our main driveway tall enough for any concrete trucks or future uh, you know cement trucks or any kind of trucks really so they will be using the service drive when we have jobs done and we'll need big equipment they'll be using the service drive and if you're saying wait what about amazon what what about guys no one will ever get this address we want nothing delivered here there's not any need to we're at i'm a survivor every day and we already have a great system in place over there so no need for deliveries to come here ever all right so i was i would say that my biggest takeaway from all of this that i hope you realize how genius of an idea that this was i'm gonna say that again i think this was a pretty genius of an idea it was it was genius and unfortunately it wasn't if mine. i could send you off with one thing one brilliant just genius of an idea it would be this over here i wish i could take credit for this idea but it's not mine the fact that we wanted the pretty side of the fence, the, you know, the cosmetic, the aesthetic side to be facing us, right? And so we could not do that the way I had set the post. I wasn't really thinking ahead when I set the post. And so we could have either put the boards over on the far side and given us the, the ugly side, or we give us the pretty side. But to do that, we had to think of a genius plan. So using my resources went your youtube videos and sister kim i got that idea and as you can see it come out really really nice we we're able to do that on both of the big posts and then you can also see the exact same thing here in the corner so it looks a little weird but it had to look that way <laughs> to get this effect and so it was a really it was a busy day. Thank y'all for keeping up with all of this. I know that these videos of, you know, building things are not the most entertaining. But I'll tell you what. As a video creator, what, what video creators do are we vlog about things that we're doing. And so this has consumed so much of my time. And uh, it just makes sense that if you truly have an interest in what Lester is up to and what he's building and what he's doing, you know, be it with animals or, you know, in other things, then... I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. I tried to make it as entertaining as I could. Tell me this. Tell me this. Here's what I want to know. Did you at least laugh or smile at least once during the video? Do I have a two? Did anyone laugh or smile or giggle maybe twice? Anybody? Did you have an emo any emotions at all? If you had any emotions at all, that's what we were going for. I'm going to let y'all go. I'm going to go get me a water or a Gatorade. Or maybe even a beer, because I think I deserve one. All right, thanks, folks, and I'll see you guys next video.